Hello my fellow Bakugan Battle Brawlers, I'm here today with another video. This time we'll be looking at the DECA um, Talon Geogon from Bakugan and Geogun Rising. Um, yes, so another DECA to add to our collection. This time it is a Geogon DECA. Um, now other ones in this in the set it comes with are the Darkest Slugler, which I've already done a video on, and the Aquas Stingzer, which I've never seen in person. I haven't even seen pictures online of it yet because I didn't bother searching. But I haven't yet seen this on store shelves. It's always been Aqua Stardox. So I don't know if there's some sort of mix-up or shortage with that one. Um, but anywho, we have the Deca Ventus Talon Jugon to look at today. So let's go ahead, open it up. Oh, that came out. Uh, take a look at it. Everything. Card. Four. And all that. Okay. Bring it down. I do have the other ones to compare it to. Um, we'll take a look at those in a second. Rotating. There we go. First, let's just take a look at the card here it comes with. The regular Talon uh, Geogon card for four energy cost, B power, of 1700 base damage of two if you drop it on the helix core it gets an extra eight damage um so you might just go for highest damage when plays with this here geogun again it's not really helpful when you have the deca but you might have the regular version to use for it so that can be pretty good um all right yeah so here's a little comparison with the regular version of this guy. Let me just center this here. Okay. Um, so yeah, first thing you can see, you can probably notice the top of it here, how it doesn't have the um, this arrow here, like all this printed stuff, it doesn't have that on it. Brightness is a bit iffy. Um, but yeah. Uh, so it doesn't have the arrow pointing, um, just because it's a DECA, so I don't think it really matters. We flip it up here. Uh, differences this way. Sometimes they put into detail. Um, this you can obviously see, you know, the screws and everything, and the springs. You can't. You can see the springs in the regular version. Um, on this one, you can't. I have a cat here. Um, there is some sort of gap here, but that's something else. Um, Slot sizes tend to variation when they're enlarging them. When they're enlarging, it's not always a one-two translation because there are, as you can see here with, I don't get these pieces. There are like either co costs they're cutting or just something in the procedure to blow them up. Stuff doesn't always get escalated well. Okay, um, let's just go ahead and drop this thing. So we know for this, arrow pointing this way, because it's going to come up. Which way is it going to come up? It's going to come up this way, right? All right, so let's go ahead. Is it going to come up the other way? I really don't know. I really don't, I really forget. Oh, okay, let's just go ahead and drop this. Let me do it in slow motion just to see how the heck it looks like. All right. All right, that was our Ventus Deca Talent opening up in the slowest of motions. Um, and we just have a regular one right there. Uh, so let's go ahead and compare the two, shall we? So as you can see here, um, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat is the arch of its head. It's not... This one is more facing down. This one's more facing forward. Um, also, because it's a DECA, it has the lack of B power at the bottom there. Something is off with my camera's lighting. With my lighting today. I apologize for that. Um, all right. Looking, It looks pretty cool as a DECA, I will say that. 
Um, obviously, screws are more are more in those holes, so they're not as visible. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty good uh, Deca here. Uh, yeah, there's a slight slight difference I'm seeing with this. I think it's just because it's bigger. It's bigger, so stuff is more blown up, more detailed, or less than the colors. There, they are a slightly different shade of green. I am kind of seeing on some of this paint. It's probably just the mix ratio was probably just slightly off, but but not my but but not my mu but not by much. Um, no. Yeah, still has back of gear spots uh, on the back here, and then on the top of its wings right up there. So yeah, how many feathers? Feathers all the same. Yeah, one, two, three, four, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. Uh. And then, you know, we just have our diamond one here just for, you know, the sake of having the diamond one here, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. Um, so to close this here, Deca uh, Geogon, pretty much the same as the regular Deca Talon. Uh, so we're going to take its head, bring it down in here, and then put the wings down, right? So its head is going to come up. I want to push those in, bring this down, and then the wings, and there you have your Deca Talon all closed up. Uh, taking a further look at the core now. That's its code, BKC, Talon, RASG. I guess it's because it's a rare one. It just has the, right, pretty much the code. Yeah, pretty much the code on here rare uh secrets of the geo and that's why that is and then it's its character card on the other side right there but yeah we can just go ahead get rid of put the diamond away don't really need it ultimately in this here video um but yeah that's pretty much going to just playing with the stupid lighting uh wrap it up here for the, this year video on the deca uh talon Geogon. Um, if you did enjoy this here video on it, please indeed leave a like, uh, comment your thoughts down below. Uh, subscribe and turn that there uh, bell notification on so you do know when my next video is up. Till next time, I fellow Bakugan Battle Brawler. It's a fun battling, brawling, collecting. Uh, just remember, stay safe, wash your hands, wear masks, practice your rolls. And your drops. Until next time, sayonara.